Yeah, right there you go. This is the Time Cutter 1642Z. And I just brought it in. I got it the day before yesterday. <clears throat> but I'm going to take the deck off and straighten the deck and see where they've been hitting obstructions in the ground like roots and stumps and shit and just tearing it up. <clears throat> They're not bulldozers. <clears throat> when I got it, they had about this much dirt and sand all over it everywhere. So the life of these mowers is to keep them clean or your decks will rust out and keep these decks clean too. <clears throat> this one... All right, I got it for non-running condition, period. All right, I'm gonna have to take and pull the carb on it because they had the air cleaner, the filter out, and well, debris and everything just fell off down in there. I stuffed the rag in here to keep blowing it off in there when I washed it. And all this is penetrating oil. I sprayed over everything so I can get it. Pull it off real easy, along with here. And down here on the starter, I'm gonna take the coil off, clean the coil, clean the flywheel, <clears throat> and see if I can get fire. If I get fire, yeah, then I'll have this baby running. <laughs> but I'm gonna buy a new coil, uh, starter solenoid, and two spade switches, which I got a bunch of those, and I'm gonna get a new relay switch right here. And I'll probably go ahead and change out the uh, limit switches on it too. You know, they're cheap enough, I'll do that. <clears throat> and if she runs, well, I got me a keeper. Uh, I'll take and wire all this down with a wire wheel. And then I've got some stuff over here that I like to use. Not this, I do like to use this. Right there, uh, navel jelly. Mm. Good stuff. It's about 2 o'clock in the morning, by the way. <clears throat> but you put navel jelly on there, and what that does is it'll emulsify, and it'll neutralize the rust. It'll stop it. And then you take, you just buff it off, and then what doesn't come off, you take and uh, wash it off. And dry it real good. And then sand it, and then paint it. And uh, you'll be good to go. But this right here, I'll take this whole thing apart. I'm going to take all the sides off, the seat off, the front off right here, and I'm going to clean it really, really good. And I'll buff and polish all this exposed metal right here and bring it back to a high luster. Same thing with that deck. I'll take that deck off right there, and I'll straighten it with that jack. I sure will. I got a couple more little projects, which is four all together, but these are Gravely's, and uh, well, they date all the way back to 45, 46, and I think the end date was 76, but you can still buy parts. You buy this whole engine and parts and rebuild it, but it costs you a fortune. So I'm going to take and make me a shaft for this thing. Uh, keep this shaft. And the shaft here, because if you look down through there, there's nothing in the middle. You see that nut on this side right here? And do you see that nut on this side right here? All right, there's nothing in the middle. That's where the shaft I'm going to put is going to be about like that, you know. And I'll weld those two together. The only thing holding them two flywheels together is the connecting rod. Yeah, this is not like a newer model with a crankshaft and all that. Now these have got this connecting rod. <clears throat> this shaft runs the oil pump. And that shaft right here runs planetary gear. And that is what it runs. It's planetary gear. It comes into the bottom here. This actually sits up here. That, that's the gear. And it drives this whole shaft right here. And the shaft drives your uh, wheels and it drives your PTO <clears throat> and to look at it I have a high and low on the wheels and I have a high and low on uh, the PTO and drive so I can be in low with PTO and walking 
or I can be in low with the PTO and then high on uh, the wheels and vice versa anything like that see but your planetary system sits right here that gear comes through it and then your shaft runs through here off the shaft is a worm drive gear with two bearings over here and a worm drive on it and then it runs on through over here to another little shaft that runs straight on out right out there got it good <laughs> Uh, this ain't gonna be a tractor anymore. This is gonna be a dump truck or a mini loader Same thing with that one and the only one that's gonna be a long tractor is this one right here because This is in real good shape if I can get that motor unstuck if I can't get the motor unstuck Well, I'm gonna do something different, but the ideal is <clears throat> I'm gonna put me a motor. They're only six and a half horsepower and at best that is seven and a half horsepower <laughs> Yeah it just depends on which head you got and I think that one over there is six and a half and this one was seven <clears throat> But I'm gonna set a motor up on top Up here to drive this right here With a hub like that right there So it'll all be working essentially the same as it used to the only difference is I've got a different motor sitting on top, but it'll all the oil and everything will work on it Yeah, be really cool uh, we need us a little loader got horses and we need something we can get in and out of them stalls with So something's good and small and can do a mule be that that's gonna be the mule is what that is Yeah, I have a couple of them one to Pick that shit up with and one to dump it in and go get rid of it <laughs> And when I say shit, I'm literally talking about horse shit so there you go guys i got room for a big tractor uh about 20 30 something like that without the sun visor on it you know if you want to bring me your tractor okay but it had to sit outside and i don't like working out in the weather anymore that's why i got my shop uh, i prefer it you take your sun visor off and bring it to me but if you need a clutch i'll split it and i'll put a clutch in there i'll work on the pto hydraulics i'll work on the <clears throat> steering hydraulics and I'll work on the uh, fuel injection pumps and I uh, don't really want to tear a motor completely apart and have to rebuild it uh, that is a major job splitting it's a major job but you know I got a concrete floor and jacks and everything that I can do it with no problem <clears throat> but enjoy there you go I'm in DeSoto County peace Nanny, nanny, shot pot, and all that other good shit. Bye now.